Woo! What's up, folks, and welcome to Keeper Good TV. We got a doozy. We have a doozy, folks. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so hope everybody's having a wonderful Saturday morning. It's one day before the Super Bowl. I'm so excited. But today we got the bottom of the bowl. Powder? Best part of cereal. Best, yeah, the best part of cereal. Bottom of the bowl. Why the milk's still cold. That's a little slogan on there. Cereal flavored powder. We have cinnamon toast and we have magic marshmallow. I saw these at the store called Bueller's. They also got them in Marks. I live in Ohio, so maybe this is just a Midwestern thing. I'm not sure. I'm gonna link their Instagram and their website down below. But uh, nevertheless, let's try the magic marshmallow first because that's the one I got the most questions about. If they miss, if they mess cinnamon toast up, I, I I don't understand how you do that. So magic marshmallow. I'm assuming this is just like just a little bit of powder. It says it goes great with ice cream and shakes and more. Apparently you're supposed to pour um, into a eight ounce glass of milk and uh, add one tablespoon and just mix it up. So I'm gonna do it completely different. Maybe I'm gonna mess this whole process up. I got my cereal bowl. So I'm going to put it in the cereal bowl, put my milk in the bowl, and you know what? We're going to see what it's like because if it's supposed to be like cereal milk, well, I'm going to drink it out of my cereal bowl. And wow, I just opened it up and I could smell, yep, smells just like what those marshmallows would taste like, or like, yeah, would taste like, basically. And now when I'm looking at this, I know people are just like, well, Keith, I thought marshmallows have gelatin in them. Don't you, like, avoid that? Well, this doesn't have uh, gelatin in it. That's why I'm consuming it. Fun, fun. So we're just gonna pour it in. I guess I got a spoon here. I can just put it on the spoon, technically. Hmm. Hmm. I can see the sugar. Oh, oh! But too much. <laughs> but definitely too much. And now we got marshmallow dust everywhere, folks. Well, we got the best of the best milk in the house. Gonna pour that in there. Here we go. It's gonna be nice and saturated. So, again, I hope I didn't mess it up. I don't think that I did because if it's good, then I'll just drink the whole thing. And if it's not, then, hmm. Huh. Hmm. So I'm just imagining I just ate a big bowl of Lucky Charms and I got the milk left. Let me just take a spoonful of the milk. Hmm. Okay. I, uh, exactly like it. Ex wow. Yep. It, it's exactly what you think it would taste like. So I can totally see you putting this like on ice cream or something. It's so cool. It's like, I know that there's some people that just get a razz out of a rise. A razz? Is it a razz or a rise? <laughs> a rise out of just drinking the cereal milk. Like that's their favorite part. I, I personally like the cereal, but the cereal milk is a very good added benefit. I'm gonna drink the whole thing. That's salt as heck. I mean, honestly, for what it is, Magic Marshmallow, you get a 10 out of 10. I mean, I don't know why you would. That's awesome. So now, we have the Cinnamon Toast flavor. Hmm. Now, I mean, it's, this is supposed to be like, you know, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Can't mess this up. Don't mess this up. So we're gonna be careful as I pour this today. Be careful. 
Be careful. Be careful, Keith. Just need that one spoonful. Just that one spoonful. Solid. We did it. Pour it in the bowl. Maybe a little extra. <laughs> oh, that dust, though. All that dust. Yep, definitely smells like a very, very, why don't we just pour milk all over the desk? That's fun. Oh, you can see like little cinnamon swirls all in my milk. That's fun. That's good. It, I mean, as it should be. Definitely as it should be. Mix this up kind of like Nesquik. Yep. What? This is such a simple and such a cool idea. Why didn't I think of this? Okay. Here we go. Okay. I mean, a cinnamon toast crunch milk, basically. The cinnamon is a little powerful. I can, I'll, I'll tell you that right right now. The cinnamon kind of outpowers the sugar a little bit. It's still good. Still very good. Um, uh, it's definitely reviable. I'm only going to give this one, the cinnamon toast, an 8 out of 10. It's good. It's just not as good as the magic marshmallow like not at all i think this would be a perfect one for like making cinnamon toast oh yeah right here this is so for some reason i have the envisions of powder toast man from ren and stimpy toast man. in my head and if i can find it i'm gonna put it on the screen but powder toast man this is that kind of stuff right there and uh, that's it's not bad at all. But ooh, baby girl, this magic marshmallow, solid as heck. Go buy it, folks. Like I said, I found it at Bueller's, found it at Marks. They might sell it online. I don't know. Check their website. I'm going to link them down below. But thank you so much. Bottom of the bowl, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of this episode. I can't hear you. We'll be right back. We're here to celebrate a different way to eat jello gelatin. With our bare hands. All we need, cookie cutters, this easy recipe, and we've got jiggler. Jiggle, 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 bone jiggler. Jiggle, 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 bone jiggler. <laughs> the recipe's on the box. Jigglers are a handful of fun. Hey, put that back. <laughs> You got to eat in Kellogg's Apple Jack? Duh. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like apples. So, and you like it? Duh. <laughs> Why? We just do, okay? Yeah. Apple and cinnamon Apple Jacks is part of this complete breakfast. You can't explain its great taste, so I try. Kellogg's Apple Jacks. We just get it. <laughs> Know how to get the invincibility star? You will. Strategy maps on marked boxes of Kellogg's Apple Jacks give you the edge in six Nintendo games. I'm invincible. Okay, rumor has it there's a Captain Crunch effect. But what is it? It's big. With that, Captain will test the crunchy part of this balanced breakfast on those choppers. Captain, your observation? If their teeth don't get me, their breath will. Seafood platter. Sharks, go for it, Anne. Satellite, shut down. What's happening, Captain? Sit up, slap me some pin. Bag, nice sharky. Yum. The taste tamed the beast. Major crunch effect. Batman, the animated series, weekdays at 5 on Fox 33. Super Sci-Fi Saturday is continuing on Fox. Class, do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. You'll always have a friend wearing big red shoes. Wait, why aren't you guys singing? We're hummingbirds. <laughs> Here come the dinosaurs. Somebody call me? It's McDonald's Dinosaurs Happy Meal with one of six posable Dynamotion-powered dinosaur toys like everybody's favorite. Let's 
happy gift. Baby, one toy with every happy meal you buy. Our mission return to pro. Uh -huh. Bullseye. Ooh, half time. Hope you're enjoying today's episode and all the nostalgic commercials. Folks, did you watch this week's episode when I reviewed this cereal? I'm not going to tell you if it was good or not, but if you watch the video, you'll know. And then, did you watch the rest of it? Because I played the Ghostbuster video game. It's really freaking cool, and I'm going to be continuing that series through to completion. So, if you haven't watched that, that was Wednesday's video. After this episode, don't change that dial. Go find that video and go watch it because it's wonderful. Also, while I was wearing this same jersey, sitting in this same room this past week, I told you five reasons why I believe the San Francisco 49ers will win the Super Bowl on Sunday. Another video for you to don't change the dial on. Go watch that video after this one. Alrighty, just wanted to check in with y'all. Go take a restroom break since this is halftime. Come on back, unpress that pause button. Let's go. Enjoy the rest of the episode. We'll be right Aww. back. Bullseye. Having fun fishing? You bet. Hey, guys. It's breakfast. Let's go, Grandpa. You got it. Come on. I want my Kellogg's corn pops. Stay calm. Is there a problem? Looks like we may have to catch our breakfast. Ha ha, this isn't funny. Oh, like sweet popcorn, there's never enough. And I'm stuck in the middle of Lake Okama joke, and never wants any pots except me. Kellogg's Corn Pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Hey, Michelangelo, what's happening with the turtles? Well, us two turtles, you know, from the turtle cartoon show, spent the day finding Shredder in the foot using the turtle tune cycle. After that, we started acting crazy. Bandana spinning, eyes bulging, tongue sticking out, head spinning. So, we decided to relax and have a picnic with all our friends. Wow, sounds like fun. Yeah, dude, we had ice cream and jelly pizza. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Toon Turtles. Presenting the one and only fruit bearing gummy bears. Made with the goodness of real fruit juice, they're called amazing fruit. New amazing fruit is so fruity you can hardly bear it. Tropical flavors, too. They're squirmy and wormy and purple and green. The grossest little creatures that you've ever seen. Creepy claws. Fill the monster mold with the colored plastic goop. And make a creepy claw from my yucky monster soup. They're ucky, yucky, squirmy, wormy, very scary, sometimes hairy, squiggly, wiggly, creepy crawling. Creepy claws. Gross out your sister. Embarrass your dad. You can be a little creep without being bad. Creepy crawlers workshop with plastic goop. <laughs> Woo! And here we are in the main events! In the red corner. <laughs> we have Oots. How do you say that though? Is it is it Utes or is it Oots? Kettle Classics Maui Wowie Barbecue Chips. Maui Wowie! I really hope it's good, folks. I just want to be able to exclaim that to the heavens. But I heard that since this is Super Bowl weekend, that's why I'm still dressed in my Nick Bosa jersey here, my 49ers hat. I heard that there's over 8 million pounds of potato chips consumed during Super Bowl weekend. That's like on average. I don't know how they do that math, but 8 million pounds of chips? It's nuts. So, we're going to do a chip review. Let's do it. Mmm. Ooh, 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 I could just smell it. <laughs> My mouth is watering. And I could just smell it and be super satisfied. It better taste like it smells. Because it smells so good. Maui barbecue. Here we go. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm. Might be something all on my beard. Mm. I guess I got peanut oil. Extra crunchy for the rich flavor. Folks, these are dangerous. That's what these are. They kind of have like this hint of salt and vinegar. It's kind of like salt and vinegar and uh, barbecue chips had a baby. Had an amazing love child out came in Maui. And out came these Maui, Maui barbecue chips. These cattle cook chips from Oots. From Oots. These are so good. These are so good. Um, I'm not going to give them a perfect score, but I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Like, they're super tasty. They're very much so addictive. And uh, the rest of this bag will be demolished. Not right now. But um, good stuff. So if you're looking for a Super Bowl snack, right here, folks. Comment down below who you think is going to win the Super Bowl. And tell me why. Make sure you go to the previous video on the channel. Five reasons, five reasons, five reasons why the San Francisco 49ers will defeat the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. That's just my opinion. I give you some facts. Go interact with that video. Show it some love. We're going to be doing a lot more sport videos on this channel moving forward. The XFL starts next week. Like It literally starts next week. And we're going to be talking all about it very often because I love me some football. Really do. But have an amazing Saturday. Today is Saturday morning now. It's probably like 10.30-ish if you're watching this video when it comes out because these videos, Keeper TV comes out every single Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So I appreciate y'all that uh, watch these videos right when they come out. Y'all are awesome. But join the Keeper Club down below if you haven't already. Just do it. So many benefits. So much exclusive content that only y'all know. And like and subscribe. <laughs> and until the next one, peace.